What's going on guys, Airfern here. Today I'm going to be showing you the three classic bases you find in Unturned. Now this is kind of a beginning to a much bigger video project I'm doing, but I'll get into that later. So let's get to the first base. Okay guys, the first base we are going to be looking at is, I'm going to call it the structured base. Now this is where you build a base into a pre-existing structure as shown here. Now you can do this in cities or many other areas with structured buildings, but I did it out here because no zombies spawn here typically. And if, let's say you're on a server and somebody walks by, it alerts the zombies and then they'll start kind of tearing away at your building. And so that's not good, so I just kind of chose it here. So I mean, some people can if they have a safe zone radiator at a farm or something, but it's normally pretty difficult. So if we come in here, as you can see, nice cozy little base, got my little quad. We have all these lockers spaced out for a reason. Now many things people don't know is that when someone's trying to raid your base, they can use 1c4 on all your lockers, and that's just gonna, that's just awful. So I tried to space these out kind of silly dilly. I mean, of course, there's quite a few down here, and they can blow up some. There's, what if you just store your best loot in that one, or that one, or that one? Like, they don't know. It's kind of like a guessing game. So if you just space your lockers out over your base, it's gonna be much more difficult for people to be able to easily raid it with just a few explosives. Anyways, though, the main purpose of this base is just to kind of a surviving base, kind of a base where you can run back to after you collect a gear, deposit it, and run back out. It's it's not supposed to be like secret or anything. It's pretty obvious. It has some campfires if you want to cook, a bed, and this can be a multi-person base because it's kind of big. So I kind of recommend this spot. I can show you guys that on the map real quick right here. Is I'll zoom in. Scooch over to it. Shelton Farm right here, just north of Shelton Farm, the little runway. If I hop out here. Here's a little runway, and sometimes a plane can spawn here. And also, generators and other construction supplies can spawn in here, so you can get different loot. I just got a generator, so I just put it down there since it spawned in it. Let's move on to the next base. Okay, so I know this is kind of silly, but the next one is called Peaceful. And as generic as this seems in this open field at Bellevue Golf Course, these are a real type of base. These are real types of bases. I've seen many of these before. I just decided to do it here because it was flat, but literally it's a base where just all crates, campfire, bed, maybe a planter for food. This is where people just want to be peaceful. I'm going to label it the peaceful base, like I said. People just want to be peaceful and like kind of maybe farm the area or harvest wood and expand on their base. They don't really care for PvP. This could be done on a PvE server. Maybe if they want decorated, they could add a counter or maybe a fridge or something like that. But this is just, like I said, I'm just going over classic bases, and this definitely came to my mind where people just kind of want to stay out of it and build their quaint little house. Okay guys, funny enough, while I was doing this video, I decided to build all of the bases and then go back to them and do a little commentary on them. I cannot find my third base, and the category is actually hidden. I just knew it was um, east of Everett on the map, as you can see where I'm at right here. Yeah, it's east. East of Everett, and I cannot... Wait. Mm. Mm. I feel like it's around here somewhere. Oh, this is it. Haha. -ha. Okay. So, this is the hidden base. Now, this is meant to be very secret, and this is for the hardcore PvPer who does not want their loot stolen. In my opinion, this is the best way to keep your loot secret because, for a few reasons, people just can't find it. I mean, most bases can be raided, no matter what. People are going to find a way, they're going to persevere, and they're going to raid your base. But for this, if they can't find it, they can't raid it. So, this is uh, this is it in its full form when all the trees are up. But I'm going to cut those down real quick and show you guys what it like, looks like bare bones. Okay guys, here's the base without the trees. As you can see, I just built a wooden may, uh, pine plate walkway. And how it's also secret, as you can see, I put two lockers inside of the trees. Because even if somehow someone finds this and raids it, they do something to these, they may not find these lockers, which I now realize if they pull up that, might pull up the tree. Hey, that's not the point though. Those lockers are hidden well. So this base is for the PvP here. Just they got their one bed, they got their lockers, they got their loot, and that's all they care about. Now, if you guys want to see more of these kinds of videos where I discuss different types of bases, because I have many hours in Unturned, and I have seen it all, and so I kind of want to go over these different things, and so you guys can have inspiration for different bases that you want to build or expand on, and it's really fun to go over it because I know all these. 
Now this is just the three classic bases, but there are many other bases that you can build, that you can create, do all these cool things with. So I can definitely do that if you guys enjoy this. So drop a like if you do, comment if you have any suggestions. See you guys next time.